this lock up. All right, it looks like we got it here. Let me open that bad boy up. Stuff we should have done during the pre-production meeting, but whole heads welcome to the newest edition of the taco. We haven't done one in a while. I am uh, Finn, the mouthpiece for the ACO, sitting out here on my uh, luxurious estate with a little fireside chat set up just for you. Frank here is the cornhole dude. We got some big news. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be, oh, and Calvin is here, by the way. He's back in the back eating a bone out of a bull's penis, but that's a whole other story. Jeez. If you're a, <laughs> if you're a dog, a dog lover. We digress you, quickly. You know what that is. But anyway, we are here to talk good news. Finally, some good news. We hope, first off, that you're being safe, staying safe. Uh, Tammy and Junior, I saw your post. God bless. Godspeed. Uh, uh, and, and we hope everything's going well there. But uh, please, we hope you stay safe. And with this news that we're about to give you, we're going to do everything we can to keep you safe and start things getting back to the next normal. Not the new normal, the next normal. Because there will be a next normal after that and a next normal after that. But we are here as the ACO, American Cornhole Organization, to start that normal. And here's where it begins. All right. Well, I'm excited to be back talking to the, the ACO family. Uh, it has been a long time. It's been since Bentonville, Arkansas that we actually were last together. Uh, the next place that we're going to be together is next weekend, May 22nd, 23rd. We are going to Branson, Missouri. It is uh, one of the remaining majors here in the season. Uh, next week when Finn and I get together to talk to the team here, uh, we're going to share with you what's going on in the month of uh, June and how we're going to finish out the points earning season. But today is all about just talking to you about our first event back and what it means and the city of Branson is uh, very welcoming and open-armed uh, to bringing the ACO back. This whole COVID-19 thing has been you know, terrible for all sorts of industries, all sorts of people. Heart goes out to all those families that maybe lost a loved one. Uh, but the, it's exciting to be back. It's exciting to get started back into, like Finn said, some normalcy. Ben. The next normal, yeah. Yep. And uh, so, so we just wanted to talk. We want you guys to uh, be asking some uh, questions. We're going to try to get on here so we can uh, see you guys uh, chatting with us. But I'm going to tell you a few things that we're going to be doing. We're, we're worried about everybody's health and safety. So we're using what the, the state of Missouri um, is considering their, um, um, their opening process here. So when we are in uh, Branson next week, the restaurants and bars will be open. They'll only be taking 25% capacity, okay? Uh, there will be social distancing while you're in the bars, so it is recommended the six-foot social distancing as we have going on nationwide. Um, so that's a good thing, though, that the bars will be open. The hotel, which is our primary hotel, and I want to give you guys that information, too, because if you haven't registered your room, uh, the Hilton the Hilton Branson Convention Center Hotel, that's the place to be to stay because you're right on premise. You All you have to do is walk out of your room, go down the elevator, and you're in the 40,000 square foot of space that we have to run this tournament this coming weekend. Uh, the phone number there is 866-442-0959. That's 866-442-0959. That number again? 866-442-0959. 0959 and then make sure you reserve your room there because it is a great hotel and it's uh, right there with the convention center and Finn I, I'm so excited about Branson we are already uh, booked to be back there uh, May of 2021 that's great that's great uh, they want to be back with us uh, but we're doing our best with them to just get something started and they understand that this is going to be a little bit outside the norm correct yeah. Um, is that is that fire treatment? No, it's worked out perfectly. Right I was like, just go ahead and throw it to me so that I can talk while the smoke's blowing in my face. <laughs> Which, by the way, for the last hour, it's been blowing that way. So anyway, you know, it is the next normal again. But yeah, no, that's great uh, to be able to already say we're going to be back next year. And I think you're going to see a lot of that. Uh, places that we've missed that definitely want us back. Places that may want us back maybe even a couple times in a year or give us opportunities that maybe we did not have before. So we're looking forward to to having all of that. I know that the hotel is taking all sorts of extra precautions, uh, the restaurants as they were, and we have extra precautions that we are gonna be taking as well to make sure that you are playing safely and that uh, everybody is protected. And, uh, you know, again, we, we, we laugh because we say it's the ultimate social distancing 
game with 27 feet apart, but keep in mind, side by side, it's a little different story. But we were talking about there. Give me that. I'll turn it down while you're so while you're telling them what we're right going to be now. doing. Well, I keep the uh, the volume up for the adult videos, but I'll turn it down. Well, my, I'm a kid. You... I don't play with my uh, pad enough. I guess. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's not discuss you playing with your pad. Uh, uh, you go ahead and tell them what's going to be going on here, and I'll moderate the comments. Uh, but what's going to be going on with the distancing and what we're going to be doing within the arena? So what the, what the ACO is doing at the uh, facilities there in Branson at the convention center is, uh, number one, we're going to all go over these rules again and regulations. And signups have been good so far. We've got 13 states already represented. Uh, there's over 75 tickets already sold. So it probably is going to be an event that will have 100 to 150, maybe a few more people there. Um, and again, if you are an ACO player that doesn't feel safe coming out, please do not come out to this event if you are feeling um, unsafe about the whole situation. If you are a player that is sick in any way, uh, have a fever, a cough, uh, any suspect of having uh, this COVID-19 uh, or coronavirus, please do not come out to the event. Please make sure you're in good health uh, when you do come out to play with us. While we're there, what we're asking our players to do <laughs> Is, uh, is you keep a talking, I'm going to get some wood to keep the fire going. We want to practice, again, the social distancing thing. And the way as a player that we're asking people to do it is, after each game that you play, we're going to request that you do uh, wash your hands with some kind of sanitizer. That's one thing. We're going to provide uh, plenty of sanitizer there for people that don't bring their own sanitizer. So, uh, again, if you do not bring your own, we will have uh, plenty there. Both the convention center and the ACO and the... Uh, CVB there are going to be providing um, you know, hand sanitizer for you. But we do recommend you bring your own um, as well. The second thing that we're recommending that you do is wear a mask or bring a mask. It is not required though, so there will be a lot of people that you know, will not be wearing masks. It's not something that required, but it is something that if you feel better wearing a mask, you know, please wear a mask. Um, the, the other thing that we need to talk about is uh, when you're actually playing the game. There's a couple things that we're thinking that are going to help with uh, the safety of playing the game. One is we're going to ask the players right now to pick up their own bags. We're going to ask you to just pick up your own bags. I know in the ACO world and in the cornhole world, it's customary that you pick up the other players' bags. Um, it's just a nice gesture and people do that. But we are going to ask people and try to train people not to do that, uh, particularly at this time. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask that um, you know, players step outside of the box after they're done pitching. We realize that there's a lot of players that like to stand in one spot and pitch from there. We're not asking that you back up out of the box because that's a long way to go and come back and forth. All we're asking you to do is to step outside of the box. You may be wondering, well, how am I going to do that when I've got a board sitting next to me? Well, thanks to the convention center, they're actually going to double our space uh, if we need it to support the, the players that are out there where instead of having boards uh, side by side, what we're going to do is put an entire lane uh, between two, two boards. So we're gonna have 10 feet of space between each uh, court that we have set up. Those are the primary guidelines that the ACO is uh, you know, instituting coming into next weekend. And again, there may be some additional thoughts that we have, but primarily it is uh, please uh, sanitize your hands after each match. Uh, please, if you are in any way sick, coughing, have a fever, uh, don't come out and play with us. If you don't feel safe about coming out, please don't you know, stay home. Um, we're asking that you step outside the box after each pitch. Uh, we don't want the tournament to take twice as long as it normally does, but we realize with all these changes and things going on, especially stepping outside the box, that is going to you know, delay the game a little bit and uh, cause some of our games to last longer. But fortunately, most of the ACO players have been playing the game long enough that you guys You'll understand how to keep things moving, the importance of keeping things moving, and uh, you know, we'll work with it. I mean, this is something new for all of us, so we're just saying, hey, bear with us, uh, enjoy it, come out. I am looking forward, I will be there personally and looking forward to seeing everybody and tipping back a, an ice cold Bud Light uh, special uh, that they'll be running there at the convention center. So, Finn, I mean, anybody chiming in? No, anybody got all any kinds specific of people. Questions? All kinds of people. And, and uh, Shep, I want to I get to you first because he's saying, Stop throwing little sticks on there and throw some real wood. That'll make the difference. The only reason we've been going little sticks is to get a hot, fast flame because we didn't know how long this was going to take. <laughs> if I got it really roaring, we wouldn't be able to see either one of us. Um, I know April and, uh, and Chris are watching. 
And, uh, you know, uh, we did have a question as to is the, are the Worlds going to be on the same weekend? Yes, they are. Um, that's pretty cool. So that's going to be July 20th yeah, the world to the championships, 26th. Actually, the World 25th. Championships is, uh, is going full steam ahead right now. We actually just, uh, matter of fact, uh, our boy Finn here uh, was really instrumental in developing and designing a billboard campaign that's getting ready to go live down in Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. You know, down in Charlotte, North Carolina, and some other cities in South Carolina. So, you know, Finn, that was a pretty cool campaign that you've got going yeah, on. Yeah, and I think what we want to do is we want to share it with you on the website as it's going up. It's a tease and reveal campaign every week. These are digital billboards that will change, and they're in cities all around Columbia, teasing people with what's coming on and are coming, and then eventually revealing that South Carolina, the best players in the world, are going to be there, and those players are you so we will share that artwork with you thanks to uh, latham tom yep. latham for putting all of them together but it's a pretty cool campaign and we're going to be getting lots of juice all around the columbia area so we're excited about that how is the world's going to work says tim tim howland is asking or tim anderson i'm sorry uh was asking well i mean there's still several months left for the world championship so we're going to have another podcast that we're going to put out um, as we get closer to the world championships uh -huh. Uh, Rich Pyle from the whole nation will be sharing some more information um, as to the world championships next week at this time we will be talking about the rest of the ACO season uh, again the rest of the ACO season what we're going to be doing it looks like don't quote me completely on this but I want to give you a little bit of a teaser of what we're talking about is it looks like we're going to run the ACO one extra month which is going to be the month of June it looks like we are going to um, allow the uh, certified officials across the country uh, to run regionals in the month of June. And it looks like we are going to uh, cancel our conference championships this year. And as many of those conference championships that we are able to, we are going to convert them over to majors. So again, that is not set in stone. That is just the, the best idea on the table that we have right now. Uh, for finishing out the points earning season you know, for our players. So stay tuned next week. Still got to talk with the commissioners, still got to talk with the certified officials. Excuse me, still got to talk with the, um, the venues and the cities and the locations that we're working with uh, to make sure that you know, they're able to participate with the ACO uh, in converting their conference championships over to majors. But, so Tim Anderson, uh, please stay tuned with the rest of the ACO family to that conversation. Uh, next Wednesday when uh, Finn and I are back on the air. Yep, Jets and Vets will be there. Uh, Burnett says, uh, Hal was asking about the hotel, but I think he's got that info now. Everything's good to go. That Hilton okay. right there on yep. property. Um, Jeff Ballstad is there. Brett Guy, what's up? Cat Kennedy, fire! Well, speaking of Cat, by the way, if anybody has not participated yet in one of uh, the ACO's virtual tournaments, thanks to Cat Kennedy for <laughs> kicking that off, um, there are a lot of uh, ACO virtual tournaments that are still going on and in play right now. But if you want to uh, learn more about that, make sure you reach out to the ACO and Cat Kennedy because uh, the ACO virtual is not going anywhere. We're going to continue developing that even as we get back to our traditional cornhole, which we all know we love and enjoy. And I would say to your point earlier about, look, if you're not feeling well, this is the big thing that we're all challenged with during all of this as things open up and whether you believe in the masks or you don't believe in the mask what we're going to do is if you do bring a mask and yours is the most creative we'll have a we'll have <laughs> some it. sort of t-shirt ready for you the most creative mask is going to grab a t-shirt i know some people think it's an infringement on their rights but some people say well i'm not doing it for me i'm doing it for you whatever the reason is ultimately we want everybody to be safe and we need this to go well so that we can justify continuing to move forward yep. you're hearing the same story with the restaurants you're hearing the same story everywhere if you do it the way you're asked to do it it should be okay if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it there will be other tournaments assuming we do this one the right way we will be able to move forward and i think that's the key to all of this for the last eight weeks you know in ohio here you know Nobody did what they were asked to do, so then they had to do what they were told to do. And I know enough of you well enough to know that you're just like me. You don't want to be told what to do, but we're pretty good at being, you know, doing what we've been asked to do. We all care about one another. We want to make sure everybody's safe. You know, please just do the right thing. And again, if you miss this one, you're, you, there's still the worlds we're talking about. There's still lots of things between those two. So just do what you're being asked to do. 
and it'll all work out. Uh, the points, I know you guys are working, you and Eric and everybody, all the commissioners are working to figure out the point systems, and you yep. heard Frank explaining a lot of how that's going to move forward. That's all we're trying to do is to pull it, pull it uh, together. Now, here's a question, uh, Randy Crook, is if conference championships are going to cancel, are state championships canceling also? No, the, the, the state championships are not, so anybody that still is out there that is in a state that is able to support a state championship and any uh, certified official that was wanting <laughs> and expecting to run a state championship. So state championships are standalone entities, so those states that can accommodate them and those states that have a certified official that wants to run an ACO state championship, they're still available. All right, here's what I would tell you the most overriding uh, concern of this entire broadcast has been your hair <laughs> uh, i'm not cutting it till Chris, we have back to normalcy well, here's what i'm telling you <laughs> hal has just thrown down your hair versus his beard in branson oh man your that's hair a no brainer versus his beard in branson has anybody seen how how beardless i can't even remember I, the last time i've seen Hal without a you beard. you know what i did because this morning i had eggs well and uh it, so i i seem to think that i pulled the one egg and i'm like you know, you put a nose on that thing, that would be how without a beard. So who gets to cut it? Are we going to say... Um, oh, I think we get everybody go up with a pair. Like like when you cut down the nets at the NCAA everybody tournament. Everybody gets a clip of everybody hair. Everybody gets a clip of your hair. We get a little plastic baggie. And everybody Keep takes from a lock of your hair. That would be great. Uh, Linda's on. Linda Oglesby saying, hey, Frank, uh, Rob Zuckowski. Linda! Is, hey, can't wait to get back. Um, let's Robbie. see. Oh, Speaks wants you to take off your hat. Speaks, you don't want to see this hat without... Oh, or you don't want to see no. this... Hey, I'll work. Hey, I'll work out a special deal, man. You come to uh, Branson, Speaks. I will go out in the evening without the hat on, man. Yeah, I'll sport the do the fro I got going yeah. right now. Remember when he said we were invited back for next season? <laughs> that will be received. It might not happen if he man. goes out without that. I've snuck up on him at the home office here, walking Calvin, and we've stopped in to say hello, and he's like, "Oh, you caught me without my hat." Yeah, it's yeah. like most women in their makeup, but I caught him without his hat. There's a there's a lot going on. There's a lot of islands going on up here, I'll tell you that much. So anyway. Oh, I'll, easy now, Tex. Well, it ain't that bad. Well, here, here's, here's what I'll tell you. This is very possibly all going away on Monday. I might be shaving my head on Monday for charity on the other thing that I do online. So we shall see. Uh, let's see. Troy uh, Catlin, uh, IKI, is going to be well represented in, uh, in Branson. Sweet Troy. And Lots of fun. Well, you said you've already got, uh, what, we're looking at probably 15 states. Well, right, now we have, we're right now we have 13 states yeah. so far represented. All right, fantastic. Well, we're going to get back to making the world's worst fire, according to Jeff Shepard Sr., and um, we're going to have a couple more beers. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. We'll be back next week. We'll Wait, we got something we got to show them. Though. Oh, that's Benny, right. I forgot. I, hey, in case everybody's not aware, the new boards are shipping and I starting to ship this week. Do me a favor. If we you haven't uh, have you throw that on here and see how it'll burn because this sucks right here. This fire sucks balls. Uh, yeah, just look, look at this, this. This probably won't do it any justice, but all those players Pull in. Pull back and take a look. Step back a little bit further. <laughs> all those players in Branson, you're going to be able to take a peek at this, baby. But uh, you're going to love it. This is the. It's actually finished now. It's got a nice uh, finish to it. And, again, anybody coming to Branson oh, is going to be able awesome. to check out these bad boys. They now, are incredible. We did not change our name to the OCA. The reason that everything's backwards, any of you who've ever done this know, we're using the front-facing camera to get a better microphone. We'll figure it out how to do it the other way. We are sitting and appearing probably backwards to what you're looking at. So uh, I apologize to LaBelle, by the way, because it looks like the de-evolution of cornhole <laughs> on this shirt. But anyway, so those boards are going to uh, have become available. You'll see them in Branson, uh, obviously, whole heads. Did you introduce Calvin? Calvin was introduced in the promo. He's back there chewing on a uh, bully stick, which, as those of you who own dogs know, is really just a bull penis. So uh, he's really digging it, too, which is, you know. But he's been fixed, so I'm not 100% sure. You like talking about that bull the stuff, bull, man. The bull <laughs> stuff. Well, they canceled the testicle festival, so we got to have something to go to. Anyway, I apologize for everything that you've actually seen. I mean, it's not good necessarily video tacos that you're seeing what you've been missing. Uh, I have lost 12 pounds, which is sad because it still looks like this. The Oh, you know the other thing I've lost? I didn't tell you this. Every single match I've played against an ACO member. Yeah, all right. One of these days, I'll score a point. Maybe it'll look, be against you. Look, if you play Ryan LaBelle, you will win. <laughs> well, I can I, guarantee you that. That's I will all tell you I'm this. Saying. If I play Ryan LaBelle at about 11.30 on a Saturday night while he's 
clocked in, yeah, I'm now a, you got, you I'm got a down. It's a guaranteed zero zero like tie. The, like the hallway walk at the Worlds in <laughs> Vegas. Yes. If you play them at that level, there we go. Then it's out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna uh, sign off because we're probably pissing off my neighbors, but. Eh. All right, we'll be back uh, what, next week. We're going to try to get back on a regular schedule. We hope you dig it. We love having the questions. Thanks so much. Uh, let me see if there's anybody else we we'll need get to get We'll get better to. at this, too, we promise. No, we won't. Uh, I'm going to make sure of it. <laughs> uh, April, the hallway walk. Very good. Shep says take care, guys. We will absolutely do that. Uh, Shep, good to hear from you, buddy. Hal's got his boards on the way. And uh, Del Worley says, hey, Frank. Del. Uh, Sis uh, Calabrese says, hey, William. Uh, so they're talking to one another on there, and that's all what it's all about. This whole update's been for you, the ACO family. And as we always like to say, I'm Finn. I'm the uh, mouthpiece and the loudmouth for the ACO. He's Frank Gears, the cornhole dude. Keep on pitching. Turn it off while you're up there. Boom. <laughs> that's for that's for how, right? Make sure you save it. Save it. I got to save it. I got to turn this damn thing off. You didn't turn it off yet? <laughs> you turned oh, it off. For God's I sake. can't see it right now. The smoke's in my eyes. Ah, right there where it says finish. Uh, I always finish too early, so it's, I know exactly <laughs> where it is.